And this is it guys, the final battle. Tyler against Steven to wrap up the first Digimon Content Creator Championship. To those of you that have asked me, you know, why did you even do this? Why did you copy CMOS YouTuber Grand Championship? Why did you do that? Why are we even doing this in the first place? And to those of you that asked, good question. You see, while the Digimon Content Creator Championship does pick eight of the better content creators out there, and when I say better, I mean people that have done well Evo Cups and regionals and the like, PPGs, you know, putting those people together just for people to draw inspiration from for other alternative formats. If you're bored of playing BT5, you can play Popper. You can do Highlander. It's meant to inspire deck building and creativity in the Digimon card game. Not everything just has to be standard, you know what I mean? And it's meant to be a tool to reach out to the community and have the community come back and have new ideas and new inspiration within the game. And I do know that some people in the community have reached out and have said, you know what, this is really cool. I'm gonna do some Popper stuff or Highlander stuff or whatever. And that's great, that was the whole point, right? A lot of people were talking about it, a few negative, but mostly positive. You know, this is something that can definitely happen again in 2022, I have no doubt. And maybe we can even do 16 content creators, have an additional round of fun. I'm sure people will love that. A bunch of people were like, why didn't an ex-content creator make it in? Maybe next time they will. Who knows? Anyway, the final match here is a best of five. It's gonna be Popper and Highlander, both put together. So no, none of the same cards, only one copy of each card and only commons and uncommons. So I'm excited to see what both of these players have cooked up for us. And again, if you liked this video, if you liked this series, let me know in the comments. Also, what would you have done differently? Would you have tried another format? Would you have done something a little differently with the players? Would you have done something different with the match and all that? Or did you like it the way it was? Did you find it entertaining and inspiring? Just let me know in the comments. Also subscribe if you haven't and turn on the notification bell to smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Ninja Boy videos come out. Without further ado, I have Max with me and we're gonna go ahead and bring you the final match. Hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, Max. Are we ready here for the finals? Steven versus Tyler here? Absolutely. Super excited. Yeah. Steven got us kicking off with uh, Coromon into what looks like a champion and not yeah. a lucky. Super unfortunate. Um, yeah, I this... like how Steven's flexing the alt art Coromon. You know, just a, add a little, little, little flair. I like it. Little... Oh my goodness, Tyler's opening insane. Yeah, that he is. I, what's interesting, so Popper Highlander, right? Only mm. commons, only uncommons, and only one copy of each card. Yes, sir. And they both chose red. Yeah. With oh black. I'm, I'm corrected. I'm corrected. I'm sure it's like a tech in just for where... Oh, well, that's not going to care. Um, mm -hmm. In case he was playing Murky Rush. Yeah, true. Dang. The one of Mechanorimon and Oblivion. Ooh. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Yeah, so it looks like we got a match going on here. If uh, yes, Tyler is a six, though, that's going to be big, big trouble for Steven, potentially. Like yeah, massive absolutely. security damage right now. Break Dramon. I think we saw that briefly uh, on Highlander format. It's got it's a piercing boy. Yeah. Hmm. That's why I'm a little surprised he popped the blocker when he did, because Break Dramon doesn't exactly care about it. Um, and I don't think Mechanorimon can attack. So I'm kind of surprised he would have used that there. Maybe nothing better. There he is attacking with the Z Greymon. Z Greymon is uncommon. I thought it was a. Uh... I thought it was a rare. <laughs> oh well. Like there's that and two good security checks and now he's got a blocker too. Yeah. So... Still no rookie for Tron or uh, that's Sean. Steven. But that's a plus three thousand boost to attack over the the Zeke. Which he yeah. Just block, and then he gets the piercing, which is good. Not bad, not <laughs> bad. Unfortunately, he can't just like Omnimon right now. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, the response Mechanorimon. Interesting. So they really, really did not want to lose to Ricky Rush here. Yeah. You know, good. <laughs> I, I mean, it's good because you never know. Your opponent could just start playing Ricky Rush in this format, and then it's very true. Over. Over. They're also very good tools to utilize in. Obviously, they both have the level six out, and it seems like I'm not. I don't remember how big Zeke is, but it seems like a lot of both 
how do I wear this? Red has the ability to boost up very high. Um, obviously, in Steven's situation, he doesn't have any inheritables. Uh, but I think the rest of the match, he would be able to just beat over any suspended level 6 with red. Um, so running the Mechanorimon or just more blockers in general would be helpful. Absolutely. No, I completely agree with that. I like how Tyler chose not to attack. Knowing yeah. that, you know, he, it could just be blocked and maybe Steven could follow up with a counter swing from Victormon. Yeah. I do en- I do enjoy that. Not getting greed, not getting risky. And a ground draw. So Steven's just not drawing Jeez. the small cards this game. Yeah. So that's, and all these hard plays. Yep. Like, like red's one of those colors that just kind of bricks. Oh, yeah, that's like red's breaking, thing. You know? Yeah. And it's even worse because he can't even draw out of it by just slamming down. Just one card a turn unless he like starts top decking rookies. It's unfortunate. True. Yeah, he needs to start getting rookies because this this yeah. Greymon is going to start to really do some scary scary plays. Absolutely. You know, yeah. Like, what's he going to do here? Like, <laughs> uh, he's going to try to attack now, which which is good. Got that Cormon draw too. That's also. insane. Ugh. Like, this is a stack you see in, like, modern... Yeah, games. an actual red deck. Like, some some Shotmon decks, you know, they would play Volkdramon, Greymon, obviously, for this, you know. Yeah. This is, like, this is insane. All right. So, Ooh, like, I'm going to let it go. Nope. Yeah. Just simplify the board state. I guess that's fine. Absolutely. This sort of evens things up between them, so that's good. And... Whoa! Can... Hello. <laughs> oh, man. You know, that's pretty spicy. We saw the yes, black tech, sir. now the yellow tech. Ooh, Spinomon. Uh, that's, that's one of the better ones this format. Player. I'm sure both players are playing it. And Delicate Plan, just so no Gaia Force or no nothing. I like that. So now that that's come in play, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't opt to block the Zeg attack because he could have just beat over with uh, Spinomon the next turn maybe he didn't have it maybe very true yeah very true maybe you know or maybe he's like you know what i'll get rid of his six i have a six coming back anyway it's probably fine yeah very true very true one or the other does Uh, he only have two cards in hand oh i yeah he only has two cards. oh my goodness that just always feels bad i mean for not drawing any rookies and like we said two cards in hand his board is pretty Pretty impressive. Oh yeah, no, this is this is a the, the, like despite the bricks, you know, if you don't count the hand size right now, yeah, no, this is relatively <laughs> even. So I don't know if I if I see that Magnadrum on attack and drop like a Lusamon or a Bushy or something, insane. It would be insane. Mm-hmm. Tyler's um, favorite rookie. Now, now Steven choosing to keep the blocker alive means mm-hmm. that this board that Tyler's got going on isn't lethal anymore. Which is good because Makanori just says no to all those rookies, right? Yes, sir. Card, good card. Tyler has his own delicate plan now for like yeah. a finisher. And he can safely swing now, not worry about Steven's guy of force, Steven's delicate plan, Steven's yeah, whatever else. So, so many cards. I, like both these guys are playing red. Like looks like Steven's playing a lot more red options than Tyler. Oh, absolutely. I don't know. Oh, too soon to tell right now. But and I like okay. So like he Steven's definitely flexing right now. Like you see that Greymon there. Oh yeah, I, I want to see the whole chain. Oh, but obviously War Greymon won't be. Damn, kind of yeah. sad. But yeah, flexing. Just I dig it. Flexing that card is like eight hundred dollars US now. People Insane, actually ridiculous. <laughs> oh, and there's Volkdramon. Interesting. Yeah. I know what is that Greymon 5k? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, it, happen- it happens when it happens, you know. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. You know, despite, I... despite Steven like not drawing well, like now he's positioning lethal. Like, yeah, he's playing it very well for the very unfortunate situation he's in. Mm-hmm. I guess I will say though, I love how outside of I think the Magna, of course, these two seem to have a very very similar build, like. The Mechanori, the Volks. I wouldn't be surprised if Tyler's running that Greymon. It's very, very good. I mean, you might as well, right? I, I guess mm-hmm. this format 
is very much like BT1 Ooh. format without... <laughs> okay, that, that's a good card. That's a good yes, card. Uh, and, yeah, and, and there, there we go. He's probably going to attack Digimon, I would assume. Yeah. Probably the best play right now. Attack that Spiralmon, get it out of there. Uh, yeah, like, so, like, this format, you know, Manadramon can't just drop Lusamon, but yeah. it can drop Bushy if he's trying some yellow text. He can drop Salomon. I, I don't know if he's playing any That'd be so like spicy. That. That'd be so spicy. That'd be insane. But, like, like, this format's very back and forth because there are no overpowered cards, like in BT5, that would punish you for bricking. Like, yeah. you can't just brick against a Lord Knight player that didn't brick, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get crushed. No way. <laughs> no way. Actually absurd. Actually absurd. Oh, that makes me so happy. I I very wow. much like my bushy plays, and that just that does it so well. And that Greymon attacks over the other Greymon oh, thanks to the Agumon boost. The Agumon, so clean. And I love it too. It's so spicy, and the fact that ooh, transcendent sword. Yep. The fact that it's he's able to pull this off in a deck that or in a format that obviously like challenges consistency. Mm -hmm. Um, it makes it just that much cooler to see stuff like this go off. Is that the blocker? That's, and it's like that's that uncommon blocker from BT four. And I, if I am remembering correctly, it's like if your opponent controls three or more i think he gets a boost like that oh, I, I gotta look this up it's been a, it's been a hot minute since i've seen that blocker i remember literally i saw it in pre-release yeah. and then that was it yep yeah. oh and steven finally getting a rookie mm -hmm. he's finally finally getting a stack good for him and it's unfortunate because it's the one rookie that's like the one cost evo mm -hmm. so it's like uh even when he gets something it's just like it comes with a catch. It it's just never good enough. So this yeah. is Bancho Goldmon, the black blocker here that Tyler dropped. Has blocker and during the opponent's turn was three or more Digimon in play, uh plus three thousand DP. So you know, if Steven floods his board, that blocker becomes fourteen thousand yeah. next turn. Absurd. Actually absurd. So you know that you know, that's pretty scary. But it might not matter. It might just be over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yep, that's it. Yeah, Bansu GG's Golan oof. takes it. Uh, I know that I personally would have loved to see the Bushy hit the final swing. But of course, of course. We, we, we know how it happens. That was, yeah. You know, that was a very, you know, well-played game by both players. Steven did his absolute best. Yeah, he played, game. like I said, he played phenomenally for that, like, because he was still in it until the very end, even mm -hmm. with, like, the hand he started with. Yeah, for sure. I I wonder what made Steven want to go with red. Like, Tyler makes sense. Tyler is a red, red for guy. life kind of guy. Yeah. But Steven here is just kind of like, he, he would do anything. Yeah. I think in... To my knowledge, when he was commentating Tyler's match against your W with you, he did touch on the fact that red is one of the best colors in a, a popper format, just because of like the boost and things. So I'm sure, obviously, since after he played green, he was like, "Let me try my hand at this color as well." Yeah, maybe Steven knows what he's doing. Maybe he, maybe he anticipated it would be a mirror match too. Maybe he's got some spicy cards in there you know, he starts dropping yellow and black cards as well yeah maybe maybe uh i i do appreciate all the options that steven is playing but the absolutely uh, you know tyler is playing some real colorful spice you know three yeah colors with red being a primary boncho goldmon magnodromon and bushy you know both are playing the mechanorimon which is really good this time tyler gets the bricks yeah. This time. Drop in. Red gonna do red things. Yeah, true. They both have the same champion on the field, just for different just reasons. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna be? I wonder. There's there's that. Nice choke. Nice nice good card. I think that's what, nine thousand DP or something? I have no idea. I feel like in this format, like I feel in Digimon, I know our card pool like yeah. for, like decently well. 
and then in like formats like this, and he'll play a card like that, and I'm like, ah, that's that that's a red card. Okay. Someone will roast me in the comments, being like, "Well, it's obviously this Digimon." Don't yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'm like, oh, of course. How did I not remember? Yeah. There, there's Break the Dramon. Dramon again. You know, that's the one he started with last time too. Yes, he, sir. Break Dramon sticking to his hand. Pierce is so good too. Mm-hmm. And there's okay, Ooh. so they both have Megas. Kind of dangerous. Like Tao doesn't have a choice, obviously, because yeah, he had to start with a, with a rookie. But like opening themselves to potential guy of force, but you know, that that's a champion. I know that. That's yes, like sir. Three cost four thousand champion. I don't know his name. But... It's Chicken Mon or something. Chicken Mon. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what are we? What are we gonna do? Like now that they got a rookie, he can build up. He can. He probably if he has a four. <laughs> Maybe. I don't. I don't know if he attacks. Like, if he attacks, he could just get punished on the counter swing. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Especially with piercing. So there, there's just the inheritable like plus two thousand Greymon or something. So that's, that's yeah, good. that's good. And now Steven has another rookie as well. So they're both building. They're both playing this little game of cat and mouse. They're not trying to like attack each other. Just building board, waiting to see what happens. There's lava Garitamon. I know that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh man, Pete, when this card came out, people were like, so this is a two cost Evo, five of five with 8,000. Very strong. Very good. Oh, very strong, you know. Oh. This is such an interesting situation for both of them because it's honestly just whoever wants to swing first. Yeah. It's like whoever swings first risks getting their board just yeah. right open. So it's dangerous. Absolutely. Dangerous. Uh, I don't even know. Like Volvamon, so Volvamon, Breakdramon, Lava Garitamon. Nowhere even close to lethal right now. Yeah. Like no one's they're probably just not gonna attack. They're yeah. even probably can evolve on something on his field. Not the Breakdramon, because again, no no Omnimon. No level seven. But well, maybe, maybe I feel like the only way that we'd see either of them start attacking would be and obviously, Steven's closer to it. Um, is if you have the ability, to, uh, the ability to Evo into a blocker, so that your level six is safe from your opponent's level six. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, like my thinking for that, I would have to assume that's why he didn't attack. I I, um, I would hope so. That's good reasoning. Yeah. Like, and they need blockers too. Like, Red only yeah. has the two blockers, right? Yeah. Why we're seeing Nekonori, we're seeing freaking Bonchon Golmon. Like, yeah, that's a big blocker indeed. So, like, Tyler's playing at least four blockers in his deck, which is yeah. just like an average number, sort of. Mm -hmm. I, I I find that in current Digimon, people are playing more and more blockers just because it's so mm. aggressive, so many strong Absolutely. Attacks. None of that. I, I'm hit or miss if I like Steven evolving the Vultramon there. Because it kind of it could, it could incentivize Tyler to start playing the rookie rush game. Yeah, going wide. Because why wouldn't you if y your opponent's main out has already been utilized? True. I like un un Ooh, unless he has the Mechanori on hand and he's just waiting. You know. Yeah. There we got two checks. Yeah. Solid strong. And there's Middle Tyrannomon. That's a level five with ten thousand DP. Mm -hmm. So that's in this. Ooh. Guy of Force over the piercing dude. He doesn't yes, care about that Voltramon. Yeah. He's just like, oh, 10k? Two checks yeah. only? No problem. You know? Yeah, like, literally. It's almost like he's like challenging him. He's like, do it. Do it. Attack over me now. Yeah. That's it. Oh. But I don't think that Volk has any inheritables, right? And it's, Dobrik, I think, is, I want to say 11? It's it's 11. And I think yeah. it's 11. And there's nothing on that Volk. So like, it can't. Ugh, do yeah. Anything. We know it's Steve security and plays, no he plays things that boost DP though. So oh, very options. true. Yeah, very true. All the options. If he has it, he has it. You know, he, maybe he's thinking about it. He's like, and and the rookies. I don't know if he has any champions in hand. Like he 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 chose to evolve Voltramon last turn instead of evolving his Volvamon into a champion. Makes me yeah, might have been because he back. can't. Maybe he just can't. Maybe he just uh, can't. yeah. I don't know. 
You're, the worst case scenario, the Vulcan draw on the card, but yeah, that's unfortunate. It happens. Unfortunate. I, I feel I, like they're just chatting away, they're talking. I know that. Oh, absolutely. When, whenever Steven plays, there's like a... If it's like a... Not a tournament game or something, like with time, he's just like serious. Yeah, just hanging out and just playing with the boys. I love to see it. Uh, what do we got here? That's something. That is another red boy. So that's what, what I was curious. Mm. The way that he continues to brick, it makes me feel like he is seeing a lot of his options early. Yeah. And it's, of course, when he gets them off, they're strong. But in situations when you want to see Digimon, I feel like it is kind of hurting him a little bit. Yep, just a little bit. So um, what did that option do? And how did he beat over? It's, it's just a DP boosting option. That's it. I don't know. Gotcha. That's... I don't recall exactly how much. Uh, yeah. Curiously, he did have the Mechanorimon. Like, he had yeah. both Valk and Mechanorimon. So, like, he wasn't afraid of Rookie Rush, clearly. He's yeah, just not like, at all. got this. It's fine. It's fine. I was very interested to see if either of them played it, um, or if they did a, another gentleman's agreement where they were kind of like, nah. I have no idea. I, I, go, I could always ask them. Be like, hey. Yeah. Did you just assume the other was gonna play Rookie Rush, or did you gentlemen agree and, and then just yeah. play Mechanori anyway because you need some blockers in your life? He's so good. Yeah, I don't know. How Tyler's hands looking pretty good. Like I, I wonder. Like so, he's got a blocker now, which is good. That's a level five with a lot of DP. Yeah. He's just gonna block. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yep. I believe it. He's probably attacking over one of the Digimon, and Steven's like, nah. Let me keep those, please. Oh. Seems pretty okay. Yeah. I wonder, wonder what Tyler's considering now. Uh, There's own Mechanori. Opposing Mechanori. Both players have seen their one of Mechanorimon. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, I very much enjoy this format. It's like, I'll, I'll have it. I'll have it. Do we know what that card is? The one that Steven's swinging with? Because he seems to be putting in work. I have no idea. I... I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, it's a, cha it's like yeah, it's a like... champion. Like, yeah. It, it must be a champion with just very high DP or something. Yeah. I don't know. Someone in the comments... Or Tyler or Steven. Please yeah, advise true. me as to what this guy is. Because from here it looks like Ghost Rider. And I know it can't be Ghost Rider. This is the <laughs> so I have no idea what that is. It's probably some champion that's like, when this attacks, it does more damage. Mm -hmm. kind of thing. That'd be kind of cool. Obviously because it will definitely help beat over things. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a very good guy for us. Yes. One stack, no one in raising. That's a very good guy for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, now if Valkdramon can do two checks uninterrupted next turn Please. and not reveal any options anywhere, you know, even his game next turn, unless he can. Tyler if can Tyler, away. yeah, if Tyler hard slams the the Boncho Golem, it'd be perfect. It would proc. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? That would be that would be impressive, and it would be fourteen thousand right now. You've got three yeah. in the field. And it wouldn't even be the worst hard play, considering he just got eight memory. Six memory. That's a shout, man. Interesting. Okay. You know, I'm, I, I don't hate it. Oh, no. Oh, no, the, the pushy! Oh, he, he made sure to put that boy on top, though. <laughs> he knows. He knows. You put your win cons as close to the top of your deck as possible. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Yep, that's it. Uh, uh, if he if he pulls off a bushy for a game in this format, I'm gonna lose it. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a blocker, so he's fine. He doesn't. Oh, I'm hoping that's not his only level four, though. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty bad. Pretty unfortunate. That air of dragons. Yeah. Uh, pop the little guy and draw cards. Nice. I've only seen that card played in security control. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. I I had fiddled around with like an air of dragons, like in Greymon Red Greymon Tribal, and like yeah. it just it wasn't as good 
It just yeah. didn't do it. I don't know. Maybe I'm not big brain enough. Oh, There's delicate plan. plan. There's nothing. There's another attack. That's dead. Blitz nope. Omni. <laughs> <laughs> the common Blitz Omni. Yes, please do it. Well, Ooh. Uh, the good one. And he still has a turn. Still has a turn. Definitely positioning big lethal now. Like, guy in the back, Odamon, and Greymon. Why not? Interesting. Why? Be very interested to see how Tyler gets out of this. I not sure. Because I in in a format like this, I don't even think he can. I'm pretty sure he can't. I'm yeah. Pretty pretty solid on the fact that he can't. Um, uh, he could drop the Boncho Goldmon, but like that's. Or he could drop uh, Magikarmon. He could. Oh yeah, very true. He could do that. So like, it's possible, but he's not gonna like survive this turn by. Yeah. Clearing the board, you know? Yeah. I'd have to assume he doesn't have the magnet, considering he's, yeah, he's about to evolve over the blocker. Right. Unfortunately, it's zero. Oh. No. Yeah, that's TT's. Yep. That's a good game. That's, yep. That's it. Odomon takes game. Oh. Alright, so this best of five is looking pretty, pretty tight. One apiece right now. Yes, sir. It's hard to predict a winner because they're playing the same deck. Yeah. With but with like very different cards, and maybe in some cases. Yeah. But like, super interesting. No, nope. I like how many options Steven's playing. I like how many off-color cards Tyler's playing. Yeah, it seems to be that's their like where the decks kind of like diverge from each other. It seems like they're almost identical up until the. Multicolored level sixes versus option cards. Right, yeah. It's very interesting. Oh, well, what are you gonna do here? They're just they're chatting. You know, they're they're talking. They're having a good time. Yeah, they're. Oh, I want to see one pussy per game. That's it. I just want to see one. Maybe uh, there there is one. There is yes, one. Yes, sir. I uh, could do it. Alrighty. Don't forget, guys, while we're in this little intermission, that if you are interested in more Hopper stuff, Highlander stuff, you know, let us know. This term, this tournament's brought a lot of hype to both those unofficial formats. And, you know, it's not too much to ask for to build a tournament around it. So, if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you voice your excitement. You know? Max agrees. Yes, sir. Right, so not bad. Not bad. Tyler's starting with a good stack. Good. No bricks. Does Steven have level three? Both players bricked both their, like, both, yeah. like, game one and two. So, like, what are we going to do here? Oh, uh, no. Oh, the way he, like, put his card inside, I'm like, no way did he brick again. Yeah, so no bricks, un unless he has a level 4, then that would be kind of sad, but... Okay, no, we're we're good. We're good. Inheritable Greymon with the boost. And not now he's thinking. Now he's... Hmm. Okay, not bad. You know, not, not bad. You know, like, three formats ago, that would have been a regular play. Yes, sir. It would have been just fine. So that's good. We have the promote. He could definitely choke right now. He could. He's no, he's not. Absolutely. Not, he's like, no, nah, don't need to. Round your mod it up. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna see level six next. I, I just, I don't like the idea of like raising. Like, okay, so he's not evolving, which is good. Mm -hmm. It was gonna make a really prime target for a Gaia Force. Gaia Force, yeah. Uh, I don't know, but I think that's okay. Here. Okay, well he's just he's staying in he's staying in the raising. He's he mm -hmm. he feels not safe. He's respectable. And there's Bergeron, I think. Bergeron. That came in the red starter deck. The OG yes, red starter deck. 
Like uh, the million dollar starter deck. Yeah, you want you want to pick up some Greymons? Some... It's absurd. He's so expensive. Oh my god! Uncommon, by the way. Yeah. Not even a rare card. Just a rare product, apparently. That's whatever. Huh. You know, that's not even like a, the worst champion to play in a, in a format mm -hmm. like this. It's not. Yeah. Too cheap, too expensive to play. It's it's normal to evolve, like whatever. Pretty all right. Tyler's Tyler's once again building back in the back. Good. I, I like how both players just aren't attacking right now until they actually yeah. have a, like a board, which is good. The way you want to do it for sure. There's a blocker. Great. Ooh, one evo too. One evil blockers are good. I will say it's definitely like in this format, if you invest too much in a stack and then you get punished with something like Transcendent Sword or Gyre Force, it hurts a lot, of course. But if you stay in Raising for too long, then you lose a lot of, like, like you're just slowing yourself down. Because obviously Tyler has three bodies on board. Well, can have three bodies on board next turn. Yeah, true. On it. Even though Steven does as well. It's kind of like... It's whatever, though. Slowing down the pace. Oh, I thought he was. I thought he was adding those, and I'm like, "What Shoutmon is he playing with?" He's playing the Shoutmon that adds the top five cards in your deck. Yeah, it was like kind of busted. I don't know if you noticed, but we got a small glimpse of Steven's hand there. Guy mm -hmm. Force in there. Yeah, Icy Force. Tyler doesn't know that, but always got to play around it. He, yeah, he could just attack over the over the Bergermon right now. Oh, I don't know if he does that. Well, well, maybe he does. Maybe he can evolve for two. Maybe, maybe then it's fine. That's yeah, sure. Yeah. Great. Beat over. Good attack. I'll just attack over it most likely, and yeah, absolutely. It's not safe from being. It's safe from you know being destroyed by battle. Uh, and it pops the rookie too, which is good play. Insane. Very good. No, he just and has if... to pass over as little memory as possible, right? Exactly. That's literally what I was gonna say. Because if he gives him too much, uh, so three's still not bad, but like. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, he can. T well, he has the blocker. Um, so I mean, the most you can do is pop two things, attack through the Spinermon, in the hope that he gets blocked, and then Guy of Force. That's still a lot of memory. That's a lot of memory. Mo uh, mo I think all legal level sixes in the game evolve for three or less. Interesting. But there's the Guy of Force. So yeah. it's there. It's gone. Now, like. But still, Transcendent Sword is basically Gaia Force in this form. Still alive. So. Still alive. True. Uh, so, Shopmon, love it. Love to see it. You know, giving that much memory over it just kind of feels bad, especially yeah. if Tyler has a way to sort of capitalize on it right now, which it Absolutely. looks like he's doing. Kind of looks like it. Metal Tyranno can probably just safely swing, to be fair. Like, yeah, I was literally about to ask if you're Tyler, are you swinging with him? Like that card's just so powerful. Cause he's what 10k? 10k. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, just, yeah, minimal. Oh, <laughs> pain. Oh, and popping the yeah, block. Yeah, pop that blocker. Out. Absolutely. Oof. Um, First check. Yeah, I'm behind that play. That's uh, that's a Oof. bit of unfortunate for Tyler. Absolutely. A bit lucky for Steven, but like. At the same Ooh, the time choke. now, both Good. red power options like that are gone now. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Mm. Glass half full kind of thinking. Yeah. That, they hurt when you good. see them, but you saw them. Don't have to worry about them again. Oh, nope, true. Now you can kind of build and not really worry about it. Yeah. The rest of the red options cannot do that much damage. So. Yeah. It's pretty good. He's also in a good spot because the Voltramon couldn't attack over the thing. And, and now yeah, good. that choke is very good. Uh, now he choked back. And that's that's fine. That's good. So, you know, Tyler does have a pretty scary board going right now. Steven yeah, absolutely. doesn't appear to level sixes. Yeah. Thought he did, but I could also be seeing things. You know, he flashes his hand for a second. Not enough time to grab all the information you need. And there's one of Steven's blocks. Oh, that hurts. So a wicked check followed by not so good a check. Oh. Everything's surviving. That's 
That's not good. That's not what you want to see if you're Steven. You want to I can see choke things him. die here. And he continues the choke. Ugh. Super, super unfortunate. Yeah. Like, it's it's not, not over, per se. Like... It just feels very bad. Yeah. It's not good. Uh, Tyler's pretty healthy in security, pretty strong on board presence. Yeah. And, like, he's just got a dude in the back. And, like, he has nothing to fear for, like, destruction options. He can just attack, like, without fear. He doesn't have to worry. Well, sure, you had a Delca plan to your hand flip it over? Okay, great. Like, there is, is the boost. Okay. Three. Yeah, that's the swing of a metal to right now, I'm assuming. That thing's been causing him a lot of issues all game. Yeah. Yeah. The level six is, that's like the only thing you can do right now. Which I assume is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your stuff out of lethal range. Kill the biggest thing on his field. He's had that option in his hand for a rot while, too. Yeah. There we go. Opposing Metal Tyrannomons. Yeah. Just as one goes, another one takes his place. Depending uh, on Tyler's hand, if I'm Tyler, I'm swinging both of these guys and then trying to, like, two two cost rookies. Oh, we already saw Beomon. Um, I don't think we've Gilded. seen Monager Mon, though. Yeah. So probably Mono and then a level 4 in Raising. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Tyler's also playing the Odamon uh, 5000. Yeah. Mon. Still possible. True. Still okay. Unfortunately, he can't Blinding Ray Bushy this format. Big, big sad. Big sad, sad. indeed. Uh, I, I feel like it's a joke, you know, I'll build my yellow decks. How many ways can I do a Bushy for gameplay? But in this, this format, there's only one way. Only yes, sir. Way. How was he able to beat over that lava? What, do you mean the Valkdramon? Valkdramon's 7k, isn't it? Like Lava Greedamon. Oh, I'm sure. But for some reason, I thought it was Lava and the Lava. All good. There is Transcendent Sword. That's gone. So literally, what uh, Steven did hit last uh, last game. Yep. Being able to like activate uh, removal options like that when they have nothing else on board and nothing in raising just is very well timed. Absolutely. So that is, that is pretty good. Uh, he needs a blocker. He needs something. No, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. I think checking that mono Dermon in security really, really hurt. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. It's not there. And, like, Steven, Steven knew there was nothing left in his security that could threaten yeah. the board. So he's just like, let's save some time. Go to game four. Not yes, over sir. yet. Not over yet, guys. Best of five. So we got at sir. least one more game, if not two. Go to game seven. Woo! I I I specifically remember mentioning in our group chat the the, the rules and the format for the final game, and Tyler seemed all cool with it and everything, and then Steven's just like, "At Mario, I hate you." <laughs> and <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But but you know, all things considering, he he's doing well. He's playing well. Yeah, players absolutely. are so. No noticeable misplays. Nothing like that. I think they're really playing the best of the cards they have. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what's... I feel like that's when you kind of get a little frustrated is just when you're not the reason why you're not winning. It's like your deck is just like, nah, I'm not going to give you what you need yet. And it's kind of like, okay. True, true. On to game number four. Both players are electing to go first whenever they have the option to, so yeah. that's always good. There's a shout mod, and there's a little <laughs> older mod dude. Very nice. Good. So, no bricks. Okay, no one's bricking. First game. That's that little freaking 5k chicken dude, Digimon. Yeah. Don't know what his name is. But I know it costs one to evolve, and it's a 5k chicken, dude. He he's a, he was kind of the center of a little bit of controversy, because I remember people were arguing if he actually was a chicken or not. Uh, I'm personally of the opinion that that Falcomon Digimon looks more like a chicken than a falcon. Yes, 100%. 100%. So, yep. I don't know. But, you know, this is fine. Steven's board, looking really good. Yes, sir. Playing cards that you would see like back in the day, just regularly. Yes. 
the biggie the vols the biggie and Mekinori. Mekinori, I feel like is like the unsung hero of this match. I feel like it's been the unsung hero of all of the popular matches. Yeah, very the true. Matches. I think every format we've played, there's always been multiple people playing Mekinorimon. So like, yeah, it goes to show you just how strong certain cards are. Yeah, like in certain formats. Absolutely. So the transcendent sword did come down. Interesting. Oh, not the worst thing in the world because you're not exactly afraid of the Mechanori swinging. Uh, he can't evolve over it. So it's almost as if he doesn't have another body on board. Fine. And then Tyler's like, yeah, whatever. Just choking. Yeah. Choking. Oh, but then I'm assuming you're swinging with the Biomon if you have the level 6. Uh, if you have the level. Well, if you do. Yeah. If you have a two cost level six, maybe, maybe it's a little bit better. I I don't know if I. Was... Well, I mean, because Bo gives yeah. you the memory. True. Oh, well, he's just like. Oh, interesting. He's just like Blitz. Hell Blitz yeah! Is good. Rank Uh, not Ooh, strong first enough. First time we saw that. Not strong enough. That shot one inheritable Blitz, by the way. You know, making that Z Greymon just a little stronger. Yeah. Very good stack. Definitely very possible to get your stacks in this format. You can just you mm. can do it. You know, get your ideal Shoutmon stack in in a popper Highlander format. Why not? Why? Um. Ah yes, Agumon. I haven't seen that one yet. The one cost two of all four K. Yeah. Agumon. Burnt Agumon. That's something. <laughs> God. Kind of Evo over the Mechanori? Wouldn't that just be the spiciest thing? That would have been world? wild. No, no, just not. Oh, wild. okay. Yeah, the way he was like pulling it back a little bit, I'm like, no way. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be evolving over Mechanori, man. No. Yeah, very true. Hmm, nope. Steven is really going wide. Yeah, he is. He is. I, I assume he has a way maybe deal with the Mechanori, man. I I want to I want to feel, it, it's interesting, because in this format we don't have the unplay Skull Greymon, so that can't do it either. I wonder what he's got, or maybe he's attacking with his big dudes because he can. I'm kind of surprised he did it in that. Oh, interesting. I thought he would he would have wanted to keep the Biomon on board. But he's probably just expecting that, like, there's no way it's going to check security, so he's like, might as well just Evo over it. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think it's okay. Uh, he's positioning guys and boys that are bigger than the blockers on the field, so it's definitely worth it. It's nice when you get yeah. a memory, but, like, you don't need it, you know. And yeah, absolutely. Probably be fine. Probably fine. And, like, choking is good, too, but, like, at this current board state that Tyler is going on versus Stevens, I don't think a a little memory choke will tide will like turn tides right now. Mm -hmm. Little Tyranno, love to see it. So, so because he has two blockers, though this isn't lethal, but yeah, oh, damn, this is not looking good. Yeah, not looking good. There's the first one. Is that Air Dragon? That looks like no. Air Dragons. Yep, that's an Air yeah. Dragons. So oh, you know, not not a bad nice. check. Yeah. At least he's getting something. There's there's his uh, yeah. one, so no free memory for either of them. None of that. And what's the response here? I want to see how. Because Tyler can go to six, attempt to beat over Zeke, gets block. Mm -hmm. He has two blockers, so he's okay for lethal next game, or doesn't lose to lethal next turn. If Steven doesn't drop a body, which he does. Dropping a 5k boy on the field. Oh, not bad. We haven't, we haven't seen a transcendence one to Guy Horse and Tyler yet. 
So he could. It's a lot of memory, but he could Evo over the middle Torino. Or just swing over the little guys, the suspended and guy of force, the Zeke. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So that's one one dude down. One dude. He need, he needs something else though. He needs to either get rid of another yeah, body absolutely. or he needs another blocker. Oh, there's a blocker. Well, I might might do both. Great, even better. Let's go. I keep forgetting he can also just play manager mon. He could just do Yeah, that. of course. That, yeah, I keep forgetting that too. He could just heal too. Like, that's fine. That would be insane right here. Mm -hmm. uh, transcendent Sword. Oh, yeah, okay. Transcendent. There goes maybe the blocker. Oh, no. The Z yeah, I was oh, thinking sorry. for a second. Yeah, the blocker might have been nice. Just getting the, like rid of them feels very good. But I feel like it's almost a little bit safe to use because if you leave it on there, there's a chance that they feel the need to Evo over it. Yep. Um, obviously, he already has level 4, so it's not going to take it up instantly, but they might just take it out themselves. Ooh. That's an interesting I'm... card to play in this format. Yeah, especially considering there aren't any level 7s. True. I, I guess it does just kind of, you know, it's a good card to, like, force out blockers. It's it's not yeah. even that it's like six to play. 